the first thing I'm going to do is just with the sanding block just sand over the, the parts where I've put the screws in just to take the, the edges down and then we'll, we'll fill in Loads better. So now we have our wood filler and I'm just going to work it in with my fingers. I've been quite generous with it. I found if you try to put it in and then work it flat, it kind of pulls itself out of the hole and you end up with a dent with like a, a, still with a, an indent. Okay, so they're all filled in. I'm going to do the other side. Um, I'm going to do the other side, but I won't show that. You've basically seen what we need to do. Just a quick look. Not to show that I've put quite a lot of the filler on, so it will take a bit longer to dry. But that should then sand down to be quite nice and smooth. flat and sand it. Hopefully this will make the dust a bit easier to control. I rigged up my shop vac to my palm sander. With some duct tape to help with that. So I'm going to go with a 90 grit. Definitely a good idea using the shop back on that. Okay, it's the next day. Everything is dry. I'm now going to sand the primer down with 180 grit just to get a smooth finish. Dust mask on. Wow, you have to be really careful 
that took a lot off. So now I'm gonna wipe this down. So we should have a nice surface for our vinyl. So this is the vinyl that I brought. I got it from Vinyl Warehouse in the UK. It's one meter wide. I've not used this one before. So this could be interesting. I'm just going to cut it to length. I'm going to line it up along this back edge, but not flush. I'm just going to hold. this top part. So I'm going to use a, a soft cloth and a squeegee with the felt on the end. And I'm going to start from the bottom and, and unroll underneath. I'm going to trim this excess off. Roughly. that came out really really well oh blimey
So I'm using the felt end just to put some pressure on. I'm not seeing any bubbles. Can't see much of the, the wood underneath. It looks decent. Okay, I'm going to leave that for a little bit and then we'll trim it. So now I'm going to trim the edges down. And I'm going to pull it tight and I've got a brand new blade in. I'm going to run it up the edge. So what do we think? I think that looks pretty good. So let's just make sure that there's nothing on this that's going to damage our nice fresh vinyl. Feels okay. Let's do the other side. I'm going to put the T molding in. Um, we already cut the groove for that. You might have to hide this paint afterwards, but we'll see. I've got my rubber mallet. Going to start at the back. So it's just a matter of putting it into the groove. Okay, I'm going to move to the other side, get this back part done, and then I think I'm going to lay it flat and work on it that way. So when we get to a tight bend, we just want to snip a little bit out. So we just take like a, a V-shaped chunk out of it, which will just help it navigate the tight bend. So 
so there we go. We've got our T mold on. It's not bad. You don't really see too much of the primer underneath. Needs a bit of a clean. <laughs> 